7 p.m. as it's happening right now with new numbers coming in from the National Hurricane Center and there aren't any big changes with tropical storm beta, but I just wanted to get you an update here on Facebook Live. Our satellite and radar imagery showing the showers really streaming from Louisiana into Mississippi and Alabama and parts of Florida and that's about it right now. There's not so much going on really uh, farther to the west in western Louisiana or into Texas. Currently, uh, tropical storm beta is just about stationary, so it hasn't really moved very much, but we are expecting it to drift to the west Sunday and Monday and then probably recurve off to the northeast with the trough of low pressure, which I'll show you in a second uh, as we get into Tuesday and midweek. And really until then, we are expecting rain or expecting breezy conditions and we will continue to see some coastal flooding issues also where these strong winds have pushed waters up along the shoreline. So those tides are running a bit higher than normal. You know that, of course, if you're along any of those uh, coastal areas where the water is a bit higher. Here is radar right now in southeast Louisiana. We are experiencing the showers. We've gotten up to about an inch recorded and close to two or three inches showing up with radar estimates right along and south of the coast. Letting, uh, let me show you the forecast path really quickly as we move through time here with the National Hurricane Center forecast path. Here it is off to the west. So this is for the center of the system. Note that there have been a couple of changes on Saturday. If you haven't checked in with uh, anything so far today, notice that the winds might make it up to about 70 miles per hour, but the National Hurricane Center official forecast no longer calls for a hurricane. There are some models showing that this might be about as strong as it gets, although the intensification you can see does go up, but there's a lot of uncertainty about that. But we are expecting some shear, some dry air and so forth to hinder this storm from strengthening a whole lot. Then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see the movement off to the north and drifting off to the northeast eventually as some low pressure drags it that way and it should be weakening as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. However, as for impacts in South Louisiana, we're going to continue seeing kind of what we've seen so far uh, with today's breeze and wind um, and the coastal flooding and the rain. So that really won't be changing all that much. Here's something that we're seeing though, and as I mentioned, uh, the forecast is not for it to strengthen too much more. All of this is dry air. You can see the reds and oranges course to dry air farther up in the atmosphere in the mid levels of the atmosphere and this loop goes back six hours so you can see that that has really kind of been here along the western edge and hindering it from uh, becoming very organized looking there is some convection and some thunderstorms forming toward the center but we're not seeing that um, really wrap around and allow it to intensify at this point. Here is the steering path, by the way. You can see as we get into the next day or so, this is paused late Sunday night and Monday. Here is a ridge of high pressure building in to direct it to the west. Fast forward into the middle of the week after it kind of hangs here somewhere along the southeast Texas coast, maybe between Corpus Christi perhaps and Houston, something like that. It may then record, uh, respond to this trough of low pressure, which would begin to direct it out to to the northeast, possibly staying well to the northwest and north of south uh, east Louisiana. That's a lot of directions there, isn't it? Basically, the center looks like it's going to stay probably outside of the New Orleans area, but we're still expecting all of these impacts, including rain, not just a day or two, but probably continuing through at least the middle of the week, maybe two to seven inches. The higher amounts would be along the coast. The lesser amounts would be farther to the north. Coastal flooding issues continuing with maybe one to three feet above normal tides and gray breezy mild conditions are high today with 75 in New Orleans at the end of September. It could easily be 95 if we were under a different pattern, but we do have the rain you can see coming in at about an inch plus from Galliano to Buras near three quarters of an inch at the New Orleans airport, a little over half inch for Slidell and for Gulfport. And here are forecast rain totals for the next few days through Tuesday. You can see we might pick up a couple more inches at least around the metro area and a little bit less than that perhaps north of the lake. But higher totals, you can see these yellows here right along the coast. And a lot of this, of course, would be marshes and so forth farther uh, south and south of a lot of the populated areas. But there could be some pretty significant rain totals perhaps as we get into the next day or so. Here's your coastal flood advisory. And there's also a wind advisory, by the way, for much of the south shore uh, for winds up to about 20 to 25 or so miles per hour, gusts a little bit higher, so just keep that in mind. Here are those winds, by the way, and you can see they're certainly coming in about 20 to 25 miles per hour. 
or even a bit higher than that over near Port Fouchon. So just to get you a quick look at what to expect, and there is uncertainty with this forecast, but it is looking like what we're going to see really here is the continued showers. And today, as you know, in New Orleans, uh, it was rainy, it was wet, it looked gray and kind of almost wintry outside, I thought, the look at least. Uh, but we really um, continued with pretty light rain. So hopefully that will be the case for many of our inland spots, but there will be the threat of a few heavier downpours, perhaps especially Sunday. So that's something we'll watch for tomorrow. Here's the center of the system with the Euro model here getting close, or excuse me, the GFS getting close to the South Texas coast, wrapping off to the north, weakening a lot. But note the thing that, you know, is really sticking out for you if you're watching New Orleans is that the rain continues. So even though it's not coming straight at us or anything like that at this point, it doesn't look like that, but it does look like we'll continue with the rain. So that was the GFS model. I'm showing you a couple of other things. I wanted to show you the potential for excessive rain. For example, tomorrow, there are pretty low chances for flooding rain. So these are the um, marginal to slight. That would be first um, level to second level. Uh, so a higher chance in the yellow here along the coast, but we're really not included most most of our inland areas in that. So for a lot of spots, it would be just kind of a continuous sprinkle or maybe some on and off kind of showers, uh, something like that. And then looking at the next day, by the way, this is for Sunday. And then if you're curious, this is for Monday and the marginal area expands a bit and covers pretty much our entire southeast Louisiana spot and it does nudge a little bit to the northeast uh, but really it does look like the flooding threat will be somewhat low but we'll certainly be watching for it because there may be a few heavy pockets kind of embedded within this shield of mainly light rain and in fact very light um, for some parts of the day for sure. So I'll leave you with that. This is what we're expecting at this point. The continued rain, as I mentioned, the breezy conditions, the very unsummery, unsepember sort of feel, although of course the first day of fall officially is September 22nd, but um, our average highs right now are still in the upper 80s in New Orleans and we had a high today again around 75. So just to show you the current radar, expect some more sprinkles through tonight and into tomorrow. Here's our seven day forecast, our rain chances high the next couple of days and then dropping off a bit as we get toward the end of the week when we'll still probably have some showers. Uh, but by that point, we may not see quite as much moisture streaming into our area as what we'll get in the next couple of days, perhaps. So that'll do it for now. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I'll be back on Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock and we'll get you the update with that and new path from the National Hurricane Center then.